Okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. That's very nice. Well, today we are celebrating the great day of the native week. For the all of the native Aborigine people all over Australia, and it's not only for our Aboriginal brothers and sisters, it's also concluded in our white brothers and sisters. Kalam! Kalam! Kalam Bariya Labi Bor! Kalam! Murin Bor Jinije Bor! Victor Jinije Bor! Nyol nyol wamper nyen jeni je bor. Pigul bay wamper nyen jeni je bor. And yo, model ba jeni je bor. So what I've said to you, in the words my ancestor first used was, come, come and see this good place. This is the house. This is the place. Belong to. Murinbor, Felix. This is his country. This is also the country of his brother, Victor. This country is also the country of Nyonyon people. And it is also the country of the Beagle Bay people. This is their home too. And your Murubab, Jinijebor, this is your country too. There, there was a, one song for or Victor now. I'll try to sing it for you pe little kids, eh? You like to hear that? Yeah. All right, here I go. One jal Victor in Jerit, Alilab Jalamana, Warit Warit Yun go on, Woman Mermelijan Jen. Warit Warit Yun go on, Woman Mermelijan Jen. Thousands of years now people have lived with close connection to the country and the spirits. As such, we do smoking to cleanse our mind, our body and our spirit and to make us strong. We take leaves from this country to make the smoke. We breathe it in, we smell it and pull it towards our body to clear our lian and bad feelings and be strong and proud like our old people want us to be. Okay, today we start our Native Week celebrations where we can celebrate our Aboriginal identity and culture. This year marks the 40th anniversary of the Aboriginal Tent Embassy in Canberra and the ongoing spirit it has spread throughout the years. We now bring forward the Australian flag. So in 1972, four Aboriginal men, their name were Michael Addison, Billy Craig, Tony Corey, and Bertie Williams. They arrived in Canberra from Sydney to establish a tent embassy. The men arrived in front of the Parliament House, now old Parliament House, and planted a beach umbrella and put a sign that read Aboriginal Embassy. Over the following month, months, supporters of the embassy swelled to 2,000 when the police violently dismantled the tent and the television crew, captured the violence for the evening news. 
an outrageous public expressed its disgust to the federal government. This political action was initiated and implemented by the Aboriginal activists. The site became known as the Aboriginal Tent Embassy. It was a powerful symbol. The original owners of the land set up an embassy opposite the parliament. As if they were foreigners. As if they were foreigners. This act showed compellingly the strength of this sense of alienation. They were landless. The embassy was a tent, a well understood image of poverty and impermanency. The camp attracted unprecedented support from people across the country who recognized their sense of grievance and made their views known to the government. Forty years on, we celebrate, celebrate the spirit of Aboriginal Tent Embassy and the four brave men who took these steps for their people. In the year of 71, the symbols of our people was recognized. And that, and also just bringing our three community groups together and having a big feast day. It's like every Friday and the ending of NAIDOC, we have a big feast day and just brings all the communities together and make us become part of one. Are we making a hunting space for stingray, fish, crabs and that? And 
we just show the young ones how to make spears and that and so when they have kids they can probably show their kids how to make them very special just to it's like to keep your culture and that strong keep it all flowing one way so i will always show the young ones how to hunt and that in the proper ways that's how i grow up and i will keep showing more more young ones well, we're making artworks we're decorating boomerangs and we're painting plates and children are using images to what that are important to them which is all about the country they live on and the country like that they like going to and the country that feeds them of course you can I love it it's a chance for the children to show what they know and show their links to country well in our workshop we this is our art room um, and we use lots of different medium and material. Today we're using um, plates and we're painting images on our plates. And these images are all about the country around us and about the food sources from the country around us. And with the little ones we're just decorating boomerangs. So this week with the NADOP week we've had uh, cultural activities going from on the uh, Wednesday and Thursday. They've had nine different activities to rotate around to. Uh, we've got um, things like spear making, uh, the, the storytelling here. Some games, uh, sand murals. I'm doing this one. All right, you jump around, stop sizing Daddy. me muscles. Watch out, Patrick, move around a bit, buddy. Take it back there, y'all. Oh, Isaiah, good work, yeah. mate. Oh, looking deadly, guys. Yeah, what about this part here? Oh, it's going to be hard. Yeah. What colours? You've got four different colours? A mural for uh, the front of the school that everybody can see when they come into the school of the area. It's been great community involvement and it's mainly been organised by the uh, Aboriginal teaching yeah, assistants yeah. within the school. Uh, I think it's great to uh, really bring in, re try to bring in the community and uh, get an awareness of the cultural history of, of the area and to try and encourage the kids to um, you know, embrace the unique aspects of uh, the NADO culture and um, just to have a broader understanding of, of uh, the sorts of issues that, uh, and stories that they've got that back up their history. And what do you love about NADO? Oh, it's been a great week. It's my first year up here in the Kimberley. It's good to... Uh, I enjoyed doing the spear making yesterday. Made my first spear. Made some shell hangings and things like that. It's just uh, good to uh, get involved in uh, some, of the, some of the crafts and, and you know, understand a bit of the culture. Uh, the rangers were involved from the, from the new rangers. It's been great to just uh, see lots of the community coming into the school. Um, for this activity, we're doing the songwriting and singing with our own original songwriter, Kerry Ann Cox. So the kids are coming in their groups. Um, they're sitting down together, writing out words about their country and environment that they live in. And we're putting it into rhyme, so it rhymes into a song, and Kerry Ann's putting the music with it. And they've come up today with two songs. In our school, I love um, just the sharing that happens. So every, the um, Aboriginal staff of our school get time off to prepare and plan what they, they'd like to do in an, in an activity and how they want to do it. Um, so they get a chance to run the activity on their own, the way they want to do it. And it's the togetherness that builds the kids up to support each other as well. Um, sometimes even our white teachers are learning things that they, they don't know and it's new to them. Um, it also can teach our white teachers how they could do their classes so it involves a bit of our culture in their teaching. Uh, 
I just the, everyone getting together, all the kids and the staff and community members coming together, having fun and yes, finally we're here. joining in all the fun activities, just celebrating, being together as one family. All of what the children have been making and you can see it's made out of just a piece of local driftwood and then we've got the shells from the local beaches here again and, um, and you can see these, these chimes will also bring a lot of good luck. They take away the bad spirits and bring good luck to the people here. And the colours represent of course the black, the beautiful Aboriginal people of this country. We've got the yellow represents the sun which is the source of life for all of us and the red which is the sacred earth that we all need to respect. The dark blue we, we could think of perhaps as the, the dark storm clouds that, that we get here that bring all the beautiful rains. The, the beautiful waters that we have up here are probably this, this colour. Uh, the white could represent the white people who are a minority in a sense and the green, the lush green growth that we have here up here as well. We've all been put on this earth to help and support one another and, um, and I guess NADOC is, is also a reminder of the Aboriginal people being the first Australians here. They were here well before colonisation and I guess we need to learn to, to care for them and respect them probably more than what happens at the moment. Uh, so here we're doing the Zumba and it's all ages in one big group together. I've loved it because we've had all different activities and they've worked with all different ages and we've learnt something cultural about their own culture and I've learned heaps as well so it's been fantastic. So I, I'm just learning a lot about Aboriginal culture and I've loved the bead making, the spear making and we did painting of the mural. Zumba I've never done before, that's just fun. Um, yeah, I, I really loved it.
Sorry. That's alright. Uh, Smile. Uh, one more, one more, one more time. One more, one more. Yeah, get another one. Hello, my name is Karen, and we just here yeah, sitting down waiting for the football to start. This is a sacred art feast day, and I just got my homie, sir, hanging with me. They're ready to play again. The team is there ready and hope we have a good day eh? and have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, we're back to the center house food. Chris, you have the wall. Is anybody's game right at the moment? Casey! Casey! Hey, let's have Come here! Is almost 40 here? Welcome you all here for the football game today. And we have we hope we'll have a good good sports. Yes, good in the port line here. Good sport. The champion team for 2012 Sacred Heart Cup goes to Sacred Heart School. So come up.
it's that something special This camp is going all these years Times are good, times are not These are rolling fast Times been good to us We've been together for a long time We've seen our years come and go From being in love to an adult couple Now a parent is daughter Always made things right. Thirty odd years together. I'm sure there's more to come. Cause our song special tells me so. We've been together for a long time. We've seen our years come and go. Yeah, there's a few people out there that would be quite evident of that fact, so. Jeb, Esther, Pepe and a few of the others. Yeah. 
Thank you.